What's up everybody? Let's get Metroid Prime remastered on the Steam Deck. So in this tutorial, we're gonna go through setups for each emulator, including Yuzu, Ryujinx, and Yuzu Early Access, which is my personal favorite to run this game on. It's 100% legal. It's where you buy the game off the Nintendo Switch store, back it up, and then play it off your Steam Deck. Let's get started. Prerequisite for this is have Emudeck on your Steam Deck. Go ahead and see this Retro Game Core video on how to do so. You're gonna wanna find that Nintendo Switch. It's collecting dust somewhere. I know you haven't played it in a while and let's hack it. So with this hack, uh, you're gonna wanna look at your serial number first and foremost and make sure you have an unpatched version of a Switch. If you do have a patched version, stop. This method won't work for you. I'll link a tutorial on how to hack and all of the intricacies of hacking your Switch if you're new to it in the description below. First, we're gonna access the Nintendo Game Game store and we're gonna purchase Metroid Prime Remastered. We want to support Retro Game Studios. They're awesome. They've made a ton of cool games in the past. Uh, we want to buy the game. Go ahead and download it onto your Nintendo Switch and you need to launch it at least once. So in the early days of the Switch, those hackers found a vulnerability with the hardware where you could short two pins to access the recovery mode. An entryway that they found on some of the early models of the Switch where you have to short two of the pins on the Joy-Con. So there are two methods that you can do. You can do the aluminum foil method, which is not recommended. I've done it when I was trying and it worked. It just, you get shavings everywhere. Buy yourself the jig from eBay, it's five bucks. So go ahead and put the jig on, plug the USB-C into your PC, Put the micro SD card with all the necessary files per instruction and go ahead and enter your recovery mode as shown here. So on your PC, it's going to show that the recovery mode is on and you're going to want to inject the payload so you can access the custom firmware. So on the payload, the first thing you want to access is the lockpick. This is going to retrieve all the keys that are on your Nintendo Switch. And this has to do with the games that you've downloaded onto your or played from a physical cart on your Nintendo Switch. It collects all the keys uh, that your system has used. And then go ahead and enter the fusey.bin, which is gonna launch um, the custom firmware. First, when you launch it, it's gonna look like a normal kind of switch. You're gonna access the album, and then that kind of launches your UI for the custom firmware. We're gonna use the dump tool and go ahead and access that. For this, you wanna remove your Joy-Cons because otherwise they don't really work, I've found. And so go ahead and remove them and then you can go ahead and access the UI. And uh, we're gonna dump the .nsp file uh, from the hard drive uh, of our Nintendo Switch. NSP files are for if you're dumping any game where it's downloaded to the hard drive of your Switch, uh, .xci or any games from your physical media. I'm gonna remove the SD card and put it into your PC. And then you're gonna wanna go to the keys folder in the SD card and copy those over to an external hard drive. The same thing with the .nsp file of Metroid Prime Remastered, you're gonna to wanna to, uh, transfer that to your PC as well. And you're gonna see that the NSP file has two kind of subfiles. when you dump them. Uh, there's a merge command, you can edit that and kind of merge those files into one playable version of the game. Go ahead and save it, double click, run it, and you're gonna see it. Once it completes, uh, make sure the file size is the sum of the two subfiles, and that's how you know you did it right. And let's go to the Steam Deck. Load up Emu Deck, check for updates, update everything. In this video, we're gonna go over Ryu Jinx and Yuzu, so go ahead and download whichever one you want. So I have my external drive. I'm gonna locate the remaster file, .nsp file, transfer that over to the switch folder on my memory card where I've downloaded emudeck. I'm also gonna copy the keys that we've dumped from our Nintendo Switch again onto the corresponding folder with Yuzu. So you're gonna to wanna to launch Yuzu, you're gonna open Yuzu folder, and this will kind of lead you to the system folder directory. Go ahead and tap keys folder, delete the previous keys, and you're gonna to wanna to paste in the ones that you just dumped. So we have our keys and we have our .nsp file from Metroid Prime Remaster, so we are ready to run the file on Yuzu. And that's it guys, we did it. We got Metro Prime Remaster on our Switch. Let's check it out. On average, we get about 
20, 25 frame per second out of the box with Yuzu in the current build. Not very playable, not very good guys. Let's look at different options. Uh, the other free option is Ryu Jinx. Uh, we're gonna take a look at that now. So same thing, ROMs, make sure they're in the switch folder uh, in Immu deck. So we did that last time. If you've already done that, you don't have to do anything now. Ryu Jinx, open the Ryu Jinx folder, and then you're gonna wanna copy and paste the keys file into the system folder. Kinda confused me for a sec. I was looking for a keys folder like Yuzu, but in this situation, uh, you just put them in the system folder. There's an additional step to installing Ryu Jinx, and that's pulling the firmware and installing it onto the emulator. So I found a link, I have a link below and where you can download the Switch firmware. Once you've downloaded it, make sure you remember where it is. We're gonna install firmware off of the zip folder. So go ahead here, we just have it in downloads. Double click the zip folder we just installed, hit open, and go ahead and install that firmware. Rejinx runs okay. Uh, I know this is going, gonna be the one that you hear all the time on all the message boards and people saying they have a lot of success with. Uh, it's playable, I think it's okay, um, but it definitely dips quite a bit. Uh, and I, I would just play off the switch. I wouldn't, I wouldn't use Rejinx. Easy early access. So this is the way we get 60 frames per second. It runs pretty dang smooth on early access and is my personal favorite. In order to download the early access, we need to become a patron subscri subscriber for Yuzu. I'm happy to do so because I use Yuzu on my switch all the time. So $5 for this is awesome. So follow the steps on the Yuzu page and what we want to do since we're running off a Linux device, we're going to go off of the Patreon general channel in the discord. People post the app image for the Linux devices periodically. And so go ahead and download the latest one off of the discord uh, Patreon general channel. Once you've downloaded it, uh, go ahead and put it into the home applications and paste it in there. And then we wanna look uh, into the launcher. So emulation, tools, launchers, and then right click and let's edit that .sh file. And we're gonna modify the title name, yuzu.eu. And as you can see, that's just pulling from this application and it's just gonna, it's just gonna call whatever application. So as you can see, we have yuzu and yuzu-ea for early access. And so whenever we launch yuzu, it's gonna launch the e, uh, early access version of the software. And access your Yuzu like normal and it should automatically run the early access for you. And that's it guys, uh, we have went through all of the three versions. Please like, subscribe, comment below. What's your favorite way to play Metroid Prime? Follow for more Steam Deck tutorials and additional handheld video game mods. Now we're gonna to go to the performance tests and what's your favorite emulator? Which one do you run right now in your Steam Deck? Comment below and let's get started. Each of these performance tests, I'm gonna run from the game mode on the Steam Deck. So this is vanilla Yuzu. This is the current release. I'm sure these releases will differ uh, as time goes on. But as you can see guys, the vanilla mainline Yuzu uh, does not run very well. We're getting 20 frames per second. Not recommended. Now let's look at Ryu Jinx. One quick, one quick note, you're gonna see we're running in windowed mode. And the thing about Ryu Jinx is I couldn't get it to play uh, in gaming mode. Whenever I'd launch it from gaming mode, uh, it would show a black screen until I kind of like moved my mouse. Uh, then it would show the screen, but whenever I press the buttons on the Steam Deck again, the screen would go black. The workaround that I know so far is to run in windowed mode, uh, which allows for uh, normal gameplay. I'm sure that's a bug that will be worked out, but just a note there.
And lastly, let's look at Yuzu Early Access. If you watch to the end, you are my guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you have a great day. We'll see you next time.